everyone so i'm really excited about this video i actually wanted to do this prior to new year's but you know didn't happen obviously <laughs> so i'm going to be doing this video today i am decluttering i have lipsticks that i've had for like six years it's so bad so i'm actually going to toss them i've been just i've been meaning to tuck them in a bit and i was like you know i really want to do this video first so these are seriously going in the bin as soon as this video is over but i have a huge bag oh my gosh it's even broken look at this it's like broken and this is not even all of it they're actually even more on my vanity so yeah so let's just get through this i'm going to go through it as quickly as humanly possible but it's a lot <laughs> so get comfortable and let's just get started with this empty slash declutter so we're going to start with lippy sticks because that's going to hurt the most i think so let's just start with them okay so i'm going to start with what i have here this is the rire which i really love rire the lipsticks this is the rich raspberry number four this shade here i never wear this shade i just feel like it doesn't really compliment me so I just never reached for it and I've had it for a long time. I've had it for at least two or three years. And it's one of those where you have the applicator where you have to dip it in and out. So it's definitely not safe to hold on it to it any longer. So I'm going to chuck it. Okay, so I have the Clear Lip Cure in the shade 8. This is another colour that I just don't feel complements my skin tone very well, so I never reach for it and I just really ever wear it, so I'm going to chuck it just because I just never wear this colour. I just feel like it doesn't suit me, so yeah, I'm not going to keep it. This is a lipstick I absolutely adore. Well, it's actually a tent lip balm. Um, this is the Ginger Sugar Lip Tent Lip Balm by Addie Thaum. And this is so pretty, like it's such a beautiful pink colour. I feel like it complements my skin so, so well. And there's barely anything left, like, that's, yeah. And I have another one, so, I love it so much, I have extras. <laughs> so, yeah, so there's barely anything left. I pretty much emptied it out, so I'm going to chuck it. Next is the Vita Color Lipstick in RD01 Cherry by Skin Food. I've had this a really long time, also. This one, I really love this red colour, but it's just, I've had it so long that it's definitely not good anymore, so I'm going to chuck it. It was a really, really pretty colour though, I liked it a lot. Now I have a few 3C lipsticks that I'm going to chuck today. Oh, I think I have a total of three, also, possibly, or four, three, four. Okay, I have three. Okay, two. I thought there was more though. Okay, so this is 3CE Style Nanda. I'm through Concept Eyes, is what it stands for. I have two lipsticks by them that I'm chucking today. I have number 603 and number 15. I really love this purpley colour and I'm really sad to chuck it, but I've had it too long, so yeah, so these are the two colours I'm chucking. They're such lovely colours and I love them, but I've just had them way too long. Like, I've had them a couple of years, so there is no way that they're so good. <laughs> they're just, it's not possible, so. Going to chuck them now. Okay, next is, I have the Pro Beauty Kissable Lipstick by Holika Holika. This is a shade I love, 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 love the shade, and I've had it for years though, so it's definitely time to chuck it, and you guys, a lot of these lipsticks are really old, have a really nasty odour. <laughs> they smell like rotten eggs, so that's also why I'm chucking the really old ones, because they stink, so they're definitely not good anymore, but I love this shade so much, and I wore it so often, I'm really sad to chuck this one. Okay, I have two Japanese lipsticks. I have the Romantic Scandal Ferenco's lipsticks. I've had these for years also. This was like really popular because um, some actress wore it and it went viral and it kept selling out and it became so popular. But um, that, yeah, that's how I discovered Ferenco's because 
the, the actress wore it I don't think she wore these shades in particular but so I bought two shades I bought 511 and 512 and they're such pretty colors I'm really sad to toss them though but I've had them for years so I love the shade look at that it's so pretty such a pretty shade and then this one I like both these shades and this one is similar to the one I'm wearing now so yeah I'm really sad to chuck these because I'm really like them oh it's really sad and I hate chucking lipsticks right the next lipstick is the which one is this? I've had this so long. I think this is the Holika Holika, I think, Moist Lipstick in shade number 9. I've had this way too long to the point where the writing has faded. So I'm not even sure 100% what brand it is. But I believe it's Holika Holika. So it's really, really old. That is like 6 years. Yes, it's not safe to use anymore. Okay, these, oh god, these hurt, these really hurt, ugh, these are the Etude House Dear My Blooming Lips Talk lipsticks, I have a shade PK007, um, RD306 and RD302, these here, I, these are quite popular actually, so I think you've probably, if you're into Korean makeup, you've likely seen these at some point. But these are so, uh, I, I'm really sad to chuck it. Okay, so I'm chucking them though for different reasons. The red colours, which I have these two reds. I love these reds so much. I've worn these so frequently and if you've likely seen them in numerous videos. I wear them so, so, so much. Oh God, it's going to hurt to chuck them. But I've had them for years, way too long and it's just not safe anymore. And the other shade actually is a shade I'm tucking because I just never wear it. This is a really light pinky shade and it's just not a shade I would ever really wear. When I wear pinks, it's usually like this. It's got like a purpley kind of tone to it. This is straight up pink, like pink, pink, like baby pink kind of color. It's such a light pink and I just never reach for it. And it's been sitting on my vanity for years and I never reach for it. I maybe used it a couple of times, so it's it's better to chuck it because it's been so many years and I just don't wear it so I'm going to chuck it okay so I've got two more lippy sticks that I see right here I think there's more there so don't be surprised if you see more oh the sun's going to hurt oh this is the face shop lipstick in the shade number 10 Oh, look how pretty. I've worn this so many times. Like, there's not that much left, actually, as you can see. But I love this colour. I've had this lipstick, though, for at least six years. And, oh, I don't know, I love it. The colour is so pretty. And it hurts. <laughs> so it hurts. God, oh, why do I have to talk it? Oh, and this one here is the, oh, I did have a third one. This is the three concept eyes. Um, <clears throat> this is their lip gloss. Lucy is a bit pricey of a brand. So I wanted to get like the little small sizes like this. Where I could just try it out to see if I liked it or not before like spending a lot of money. So I got this one, a little tiny lip gloss. And it's a really light colour. I tried it for the first time today and I just didn't like it. So, it actually, some of the 3C lipsticks do this to me. They will show the dry patches on my lips and they show the dry patches on my lips. So, I'm going to chuck it. <laughs> yes, plus it's also not a shade that I would wear as often. So, yes, I'm going to chuck it. <clears throat> I'm not really that into lip gloss either. I prefer lip tints or <sighs> lipsticks, I think. <clears throat> Okay, so let's do an eyeshadow palette. Oh my gosh, you guys. So this is the, I like Physicians Formula. I've mentioned that before, but I'm going to chuck this palette. This is the Warm Nude Physicians Formula palette. Um, so you can see the colours a little bit. Let me open it. Is that better? Not really. <laughs> I think you can kind of see it. But So I love the shimmer strips. 
but when I first got this I really really liked it but I've tried a lot of new eyeshadow palettes and the quality of those seem much much higher than this now I guess because I'm able to compare the quality is not great the shimmer strips is a much better quality than this I've been in love with the shimmer strips for years but this is a kind of a fail for me it just it's not that pigmented honestly like I have to go in it with a finger over and over and over and it's still not that pigmented to the point where I'm just tired of having to dig into it and it makes my makeup take so much longer and I just can't get that much I can't get that much pigmentation so it's just it's it's a fail for me and I just don't even want it <laughs> I don't want it anymore it's too much work and it just it's not enough pigmentation for me so I'm going to chuck it It's kind of sad though because I really love the packaging. It's so cute. It looks like a pantyhose and it's just, but it looks like a book too because it's got like two sides. Yeah. Packaging is adorable, but the product is a fail for me. Okay, so I have the Physician's Formula is Super BB Cream. This is in the shade Light Medium. Um, I have about three others Physician's Formulas BB Cream, so it's not too terrible that I'm checking it, but. Um, it's one of my favourites though, the Physicians Formula BB Creams, I feel like they're just perfect for me. They don't leave my skin looking oily and I don't look dry and it makes my makeup sit better on my skin. So it doesn't make my makeup feel like a mask, it makes my makeup actually soak into my skin a lot better and it just feels less like there's makeup on my face. So I really, really love them and I always mix them with my foundation, so they're definitely a favourite of mine. However, I am going to chuck this one because it has gone bad. It has that nasty egg smell, so it smells like a rotten egg, so it's gone bad. <laughs> so I'm going to chuck it, but I have three others, so it's alright. Okay, so I'm going to chuck this hemp lip balm. I got it because I was like, hemp? I was like, ooh, I'm doing something bad. And I got really like, curious. <laughs> I got this at Whole Foods. Um, this is by The Body Shop. And it just looks like normal lip balm. It's just like kind of yellowish. And it was alright. I liked it. It did moisturize my lips. So, um, I don't, I feel like it had more of a hemp smell when I first got it. But over time, that smell just kind of faded. But yeah. Um, but I just thought it was really cool that it was made with hemp, so, yes, but I emptied it out, so, I go through a lot of lip balm, I think a lot of women go through a lot of lip balm then. Okay, and face wipes, this is not really surprising, I go through a lot of face wipes. This is the, um, green tea face wipes, you get 60 tablets, and I got these at, where should I get these? I got these at, um, I got it at, I can't remember where I got it. But they were only like $2.99 or something like that. And they did remove my makeup really nicely, even my waterproof makeup. So I did like them. So yes, I like them. And by the way, these face wipes are Korean face wipes. I forgot to mention that. These are the Banzai Living Beauty face wipes. Yes. But yeah, they're really nice. <laughs> I just thought you'd find it. You'd want to know that they were actually Korean face wipes. So yes. Okay, the next one is the uh, Seven Days Vitamin, uh, Vitamin, <laughs> Vitamin Mist, um, Phyto Six Complex with tomato, broccoli, banana, apple, cabbage, and carrot. Um, by this is by Ariel. It is a Korean brand, but it's got so many vitamins in it, and it's the ingredient list is so impressive. I bought this because my Rite Aid and my local my local CVS started carrying Korean makeup in the store. I got so excited that I was like, I have to buy it, I have to buy it. So I purchased it and I was really excited about it. Um, so I didn't use it as an actual like mist, like a mist spray, I didn't do that. I used it as like, I added it with my toner. Um, I didn't really notice a difference though with my skin from using it. So I won't repurchase it, but I just thought the ingredient list was so impressive and it was so organic and so <laughs> I still feel like my skin got some benefits. I just didn't really notice anything significant so I won't repurchase it but it is a really cool vitamin mist
Next is the Desert Essence Natural Tea Tree Natural Tea Tree Facial Cleansing Pads. These are um, I've had these so long, like it's actually faded, as you can see. It's like really faded. Um, I emptied it out. Yeah, I did. It's empty. That's not good. Um, I'm not into cleansing pads because I feel like they're really rough and abrasive for my skin. So, um, I actually just started using these two as like a spot treatment, and I just hold it there on areas without scarring and I don't like to scrub it on my skin though um, but it actually works nicely as a like concentrated treatment or like blemishes so I think I will purchase some more pads just to like use them as a spot treatment but I don't like to scrub my face with them though but I didn't do these out and they're alright I had to re-moisten them though because they were a little dry I think it's a tea tree but yes I probably won't buy these exact ones again though I'll probably try something different though and oh, what do I have here? Oh, this. Okay, so this is an organic nail um, nail polish remover. And I really wanted to try nail polish remover that was organic because I've never tried it. And I've heard that acetone is really bad for your nails. So I got this one. This is the Sun Coat Natural Nail Polish Remover. It's made with corn and soy. Corn and soy are actually not good for you. For one, our corn these days is not even organic anymore. It's changed and genetically modified and there's a lot of problems with our corn these days and soy has so many problems that i'm not even going into all the things wrong with soy but um i won't repurchase this because of the soy and the corn so yeah but i did try it and it was really terrible actually it was so it's an oil which is weird okay makeup like nail polish removers and liquid but this is oil you guys so it was just so hard to remove my nail polish with it and I really hated it so I just finished it up as quickly as possible but I'm so happy to chuck it I thought it would be really good because it's made in Canada and I, I know it's organic and stuff but it doesn't work well it's just I had to scrub so hard on each nail just to remove the nail polish with this so not only does it not exactly have the best ingredients but it just doesn't work I won't repurchase it though there are some better organic ones though and I think I'll make a video about them later because I did get some other ones. I got like four total, so. But this is the only one I really hated, so. Yes. Yes. I should have known that when it was oil that it wouldn't work. But I tried it anyway, so. You know. Okay, so this is the 30% Pro Pumpkin Peel. And I love this stuff. This is an acid peel, actually. But it's very different. Normally, acid peels are very drying. And they're very, like, a white liquid. This is actually brown as you can see it's a very thick consistency and i loved it i tried to get a cheaper version of this stuff and it didn't work it just didn't do this i use this on my lips so i put this on my lips um at like once every two weeks and it just prevents my lips from tapping and getting really dry and it just for two weeks it basically does what exfoliating does but it lasts a lot longer and that's why I love it, but it's so expensive. I think it's like $45. And plus, you can only get a huge size. They don't have a smaller tub. So, it really goes to waste because it's way too big. I mean, I guess you're supposed to use it on the face. But for what I need it for, it's just really wasteful that they don't have a smaller size. So, I just, I don't know. I'm going to have to just suck it up and buy another one there. But I love it. It's so good. Really sad that I have to toss it. But it's gone bad, you guys. It's changed colour, so... That's why I'm chucking it. This is the Peptide and Pure Cream. It's 1000 milligrams of peptide extract. I emptied this out. This is by what brand? It's Korean. I know that. Mizone. This is by Mizone. It was alright. I wasn't in love with it. And I didn't really notice a change in my skin from using it. So... I won't repurchase it. <sighs> okay, so there's still a lot to go through, guys. Okay, so this is the Incilia CPP 80% Propolis, active Propolis. So it has like, like bee venom? <laughs> I think it is. Bee venom. And so it was really interesting. I kind of liked this, you guys. Like, this bag is like heavy. <laughs> Okay, so I've had this for a long time. It's actually faded, the label, as you can see, it's like really faded. But it actually was quite nice, um, but it goes bad very, very quickly. So 
if you purchase it, I did empty it out, so it's empty, but if you do purchase it, just know it goes bad very, very quickly. So it gives you six months as the expiration date. However, I found that pretty much after like two weeks, it just didn't have the same effects at all. When I first used it, I definitely noticed a, a reaction on my skin. Not a bad reaction, it's just, I guess because of the B venom, oh, like B venom, yes. So because of whatever, the venom that they have in it, it would just kind of, my skin would feel warm you know gets not heated or uncomfortable it would just feel like it got a warmer when I'd apply this but then after two weeks it just stopped there was no warming effect so the B venom doesn't um it doesn't last I think it's B venom um French propolis um I think it is B venom but whatever they're using in here it um the ingredient list is really great it has like vegetable stem cells and all of that but whatever was causing my skin to warm after two weeks it stopped so if you do buy this product you do need to use it fairly quickly um, but I think propolis is from bees though so yes but just know that you have to use it quickly because it doesn't last the effect doesn't stay after the first two weeks after you use it and open it for the first time Okay guys, so I've got quite a bit more makeup. So I have another Cleo Lip Nicole, which I love this color. This is the shade number seven. And it's such a beautiful color, you guys. Like, it's so pretty. But it's gone bad. It's taken on a really nasty kind of smell, so. But it's so pretty. I love this color. So I'm really sad she chucked that. Yes, I have a foundation I'm chucking today, you guys. So this is the x liquid foundation in the shade caramel it's light coverage this is a Korean foundation which I kind of just came across that by accident when I was on Amazon and it expired in 2017 but normally with expiration dates it starts to expire after you open it is what I always thought was the case but this seemed to actually I used it for the first time after the expiration date so the expiration date was for like um uh I think it's like July the expiration date was for July and I opened it for the first time and used it in August or September I can't remember it was about two months after the expiration date um, expired and I had a breakout I normally don't have breakouts so for me to have bumps little bumps like rash bumps all over my face it was a red flag that it was my foundation so I am chucking this because it went bad even before I could even open it to use it I haven't actually had it that long because I think I purchased it a little over a year ago so I don't know I was kind of sad that I didn't really get to try it so I might repurchase it and try it again but it went bad without even being opened so that's not really a good sign I think but I don't know I do really want to try it so I think I will repurchase it Okay, so next I have the McQueen New York um, lip pencils. These are Korean lip pencils. And I did a review on these and I told you in the review I didn't like them. And so I thought, why well, should I keep them for another year when I don't like them? So yes, the colors are so pretty, but they show the dry patches in my skin. So I decided to chuck them because I just don't like them. And... They make my lips not look very good, so they just show too much dryness in my lips, so I'm going to chuck those. Okay, next I have the um, Maybelline New York Concealer in the shade 30 Camouflage, no, Cafe, yes. 30 Cafe. I've gone through so many of these Maybelline um, concealers. It is such a good concealer and it's quite popular on YouTube as well. A lot of YouTubers really like these concealers and it really is an excellent drugstore concealer. I've gone through at least eight of these bad boys and I'm going to repurchase. So it's just a really good concealer and I don't know what to say. It suits my skin color very, very well and it's just a great concealer. I highly recommend it and this oh, I'm so sad this is being chucked I emptied it out this is the Palladio 4D boost black mascara it's an herbal mascara I have a few things to say about this because I think it's kind of important to talk about this 
so this palladio um okay so i'm super sensitive with my eyes i cannot tolerate mascara of any kind i've tried organic ones i've tried natural and of course drugstore didn't work so i was hunting around on amazon for like an hour and i wanted to i was reading reviews to see people who had bad reactions to mascara like i do and i came across lots of positive reviews about palladio a lot of people who have bad reactions to mascara said they love this stuff and it's different than other mascaras it's actually because it's an herbal formula so it's not a typical mascara and I used it and I fell in love with it it doesn't irritate my eyes it is so amazing and I just am not even bothering looking for any more mascaras I literally purchased every one of the Palladio herbal mascaras so I have like six <laughs> Um, I'm definitely repurchasing this one. I loved it. It made my eyeshadow, my eyelashes look bomb and it just was so comfortable on my eyes. I could wear it for hours and it was so comfortable. My eyes weren't burning. It was just so great. So if you have very, very sensitive eyes, I definitely recommend the Palladio mascaras. They are excellent and I keep so many of these on hand at all times. I love them so much. So I highly, highly recommend them. Okay, so I found two other of the McQueen New York um, lip liners that I'm going to be chucking today because I didn't like these. And I have three gel liners. How do I go through so much gel liner? It's probably because of this, like, I like so much eyeliner. <laughs> so I have three. Okay, so I have the Etude House Drawing Show Creamy Liner. I emptied this one out actually. This is in the black shade and it's smudged on me so I won't repurchase it but um, it was a nice black colour so I did finish it up. And then this is the 3 Concept Eyes um, gel liner in black. I'm going to repurchase this but unfortunately when I opened it, I haven't even had it that long, I've had it for like a year, it was rock hard already and I couldn't get a single drop out of it so I'm going to repurchase it to try it. Because I really did want to try it, so I'm really sad that it's a waste because the concept dies is a bit more expensive. So it's just such a waste, I have to toss it. Okay, and the other one here is the Bobby Fart eyeliner gel eyeliner, and this is of course in the shade black. <laughs> and I basically it's almost empty, but not completely. Um, but it's got quite a bit of it left in it. I felt like it had gone bad because when I used it on my eyes, it started irritating my eyes, which it didn't used to do. So I felt it's gone bad. So I am chucking it today. Yeah, Barbie felt is very inexpensive. I believe this gel in pot was only like three dollars. So it's a really inexpensive Korean brand. So I have a three lip balm. So this is the Manuka Naturals Honey Lip Balm. I actually got this for free in the purchase. I purchased something from this brand, um, Manuka Naturals, and so they gave me this for free, which was really cool, and I liked it, I used it up. Um, it was a normal lip balm, it did moisturise my lips, so I did like it, and it is organic, so you might want to check them out. And this, oh my gosh, I am in love with this lip balm, I have to repurchase, I'm going to see what other ones this brand has. This is the Diva Stuff, um with almond oil hydrating lip balm the scent is Asian pear the smell is so wonderful and it's so so moisturizing and I'm going to go online and see what other lip balms this brand has because they're so so good and I really really recommend them completely used it up it still smells so good diva stuff the lip balms they're good they are so good so I'm going to buy a couple more from this brand and then this one is Bet's Bees, because you know I like Bet's Bees, so <laughs> of course I would have their lip balm. This is that tinted lip balm in the shade Rose. I use this up. I'm not too into tinted lip balms these days, but I used to be like obsessed with tinted lip balms. But I did like it, and it did moisturize my lips. Okay, so mascaras. I have two more mascaras. I have the Pladio Herbal Waterproof Mascara. This is the one that has like the little brush thing on it. Um, this is the only one I didn't like um, so far that I've tried from Pladio. I've tried, I got all of their um, herbal mascaras, but this one I didn't like. Um, 
it went bad too quickly it went bad in like two weeks so i only got to use it a few times but it's a you know it's i liked how it made my eyelashes look but it just goes bad so quickly so i won't repurchase this one but i'm definitely going to repurchase the other ones i just didn't like that one that's this seems to be the only one i didn't like by claudio This mascara, you guys, <laughs> this is an Indian mascara that I got from India, so it took so long to arrive, like four weeks, and it's got so many, like, look at this, okay, this is supposed to, like, you know, twist, but it doesn't, it's broken. Indian packaging is some of the worst packaging ever, if you ever purchase stuff from India, you would know, it's terrible packaging so I'm just tossing it because I got tired of fumbling with it because the packaging is so defective so like let's just let's just put that down because it's annoying me so you twist and that's that's how it comes out but it's just really bad and there's still quite a bit in here but it's really it gets stuck like the mascara gets stuck here and it was so annoying and it got clumpy and chunky here and it clumps like when you put it on your eyes as well, I noticed clumping, so there would just be clumps of mascara on my eyelashes, so I just don't like it. And the packaging is so bad, it completely faded, so it just looks like a black stick. <laughs> There's no name, I couldn't even repurchase it even if I wanted to, so I just decided to chuck it because I got tired of dealing with it. <laughs> Okay, and I have an eyeliner. This is the Oh My Eyeline. I love this brand. This is a Korean brand. I bought their, I have like all of their colors. All of their major colors. I have that purple. I bought the purple here and then I have the blue and I have the black and I love them. But this one, I think because it's so hard to get the purple that it was, when I purchased it, it was already dry and just on the verge of dying. So I think that's really what happened. Because I've never had issues with this brand. And I purchased this particular liner over and over again. So, but basically I used it once and it dried out. <laughs> like literally I used it once when I first got it. I've only had it for like two months. And I used it, when I first got it, I tried it and it worked fine. But then when I tried it again like a week later, it was dried out. So it... I think it was just already on the verge of going bad and the seller sent it to me anyway and that's what happened because I've never had that problem with these liners and I love these liners and I bought a lot of them so yeah so I don't know I think because the purple is so hard to get so the sellers that do have it they either they have it for maybe too long and it's on the verge of going bad but I'm really sad about this because I do really like these liners and I really wanted the purple so yes but it dried out and I got to use it once so Okay, so I have some lipsticks. These are the last of my lipsticks that I'm chucking. This is a lip tint that I really, really like. This is the Moulin Rouge lip tint in the red shade. I really like this lip tint. It's so pretty, but I just felt like um, things started growing in it because I had it. It's so pretty, look. It's a pretty color. But I just noticed things growing in it, and so it's gone bad. But it was such a pretty color, and I really really liked it and stuff is going everywhere and the packaging is so cute look at that so it's really nice really liked it okay now these oh um do you remember how i mentioned that some of the 3c lipsticks show the dry patches in my lips well these are two of those these i was so excited about this is the um Mellow pink, this one here is the color mellow pink, and then this one is the electro pink. Um, there was a lot of like you had to be careful about purchasing it because, um, you just there's so many like Chinese brands that are trying to copy it, and so you have to be careful about 3C to make sure it's real. But I bought these directly from Korea to make sure it's legit, but I didn't like them, they just were so cakey on my lips and they showed all the dry patches. So I'm really happy to chuck them and I've had them for way too long and I've been dying to chuck them but I really wanted to do a video with them. They're such pretty colours but especially this one but it makes my lips look so unattractive. And these two, okay this went viral, a lot of you have likely heard of it. This is the uh, My Lip Temp Pack by Berrysum. This is the shade um, Chic Purple and Verdant Red. And uh, I used to really be into these peel off lip tints, but honestly, you have to wait 10 minutes for it to dry, and who has time for that? And 
Honestly, there's a lot of better lip tints, even peel off ones now, than Berry Slim. Berry Slim was the first. I believe they were, yeah, they were the first, I believe, to come up with these like lip tattoos that peel off. Um, so they do kind of, they're special in that way, but you know, and they went viral, so it's just that there's a lot of problems with these, and a lot of YouTubers didn't mention it, but there's a really bad odor, especially with the purple. It has such a strong chemical smell, especially when you first get it. And it was so bad that even my boyfriend was actually, we were traveling to Philadelphia, and when I used it, he came up the stairs, and he's like, what is that horrible chemical smell? Like, he couldn't stand the smell. It was really bad. So they're very, very chemical -y. so I would just be a little wary. It might just be only the purple shade that is that bad, because the other ones don't smell like that. But, I don't know, I just feel like the ingredients are not good. The chemicals in this one are so heavy that I don't even know if it's safe. And then this one, I just feel like the red smells like corn syrup to me. It just has that corn syrup feel to it, and that's not good either. So, I definitely don't recommend these. I know that they went viral, and a lot of people use them, but there's so many better ones now on the market. And... I would definitely look at them and not, not, I, I don't recommend these. Okay, guys, we're getting to the bottom of the barrel, so there's only a few items left. Okay, so I have a eyeliner. This is the Style on Neon Super Proof Gel Liner by Touch in Soul. This is a blue liner, however, it dried out on me, and I think I only got to use it like a few times, it completely became rock hard. So, I won't repurchase it because it got rock hard in like two weeks and that's such a waste of money because I only got to use it a few times, so, chucking that. This I got a long time ago and I finished off a long time ago and just never put it in a video. So I'm finally doing it. This is the Alba Botanical, um, Alba Botanica Acne Dirt Invisible Treatment Gel. Um, it's supposed to be one of those natural ones. It has only vegetarian ingredients and it's cruelty free. I bought this at Harris Teeter. The Harris Teeter that I went to had a lot of makeup and beauty and skincare. So I picked it up. Um, I didn't notice a difference though from it. So I won't repurchase it because I just didn't notice a change. But... You know, it was one of the first gel treatments that I purchased, um, but it didn't really do anything for me, so, you know. Okay, I have another foundation. This is the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 25 Hour Foundation in the color 300 Sand. I actually used to be this light. It's really hard to believe that I was that light, <laughs> but I was, but this was like my favorite foundation for a long, long time. Because it was like, it was one of those foundations that would completely blend and melt into my skin and you would forget it's there, you wouldn't feel it, it wouldn't get on your clothes as much and it was just a foundation that I loved. And I, I'm definitely going to repurchase a different shade, it's just I'm not sand. Sand is usually like really, really light skin colours. I am not a sand. I don't think I've been a sand in like the last two or three years. So, yes, but I'm going to repurchase it in a different colour. A darker color but yes I've been trying to wear it again several times but I'm just too dark for it now so can't wear it I can't so it's impossible okay so next is the Estee Lauder a gentle eye makeup remover I always had a very sensitive eyes so yes yeah, so that's why I got this this is um, very convenient for like smudging and stuff and that's what I use it for However, I don't know, my eyes I think became even more sensitive over the years. At first I could use it and it was fine, but then when I used it again, it just irritated my eyes a bit. And when I used it on my sister, she said it burned her eyes really, really badly. So even though it's a gentle eye, eye remover, it's not really that gentle. If you have really sensitive eyes, I think you won't like this. So I don't recommend it for people with really sensitive eyes. I think I didn't used to be annoyed with it, but... As my eyes got more sensitive, it just wasn't gentle enough for my eyes, so... Okay, and this. Oh, this is the Wawa Natural Herb Cosmetics Serum Pure Milk Amino Acid Cream. This is such a waste of money. It was like $10 for this. I bought it on eBay. Okay, the packaging. A cream going into this kind of container. How can you get it out? 
I think an indie brand kind of created this and she just didn't know what she was doing. But you should never put a cream in this kind of container because you can't get it out. So it was a complete waste of money. I got to use it once and there's still a ton of product all on the sides that just won't come out. Ton of waste of money, so don't buy this. <laughs> it's a waste. You will spend $10 on something you can use once and I had no idea it was quite this tiny. And I thought it would be a liquid. I didn't quite envision that the cream would be in this container. I just didn't think someone would do that, but it's a total waste. And the last item, you guys. Oh my gosh. The last item. Okay, so this is an eyeshadow. This is the Willow Tree Minerals Grapefruit Eyeshadow. This is one of the Etsy brands. Oh, my hair is like all over the place. This is one of the Etsy brands by Willow Tree Minerals. And I don't think you can see it. It actually, as my skin got darker, I used to like it. But when my skin got darker, it didn't work for me. It's so pretty. Like... It's a really pretty pink, but, oh my gosh, it's like going everywhere. When you actually, for my skin color, it just doesn't really show up all that well. So, it's like, okay, so I put it on my wrist. It just looks like glitter. It doesn't actually show the color. So, it's supposed to be like a grapefruit pinky color. But, I don't know, on my eyes, it doesn't show up on camera at all. And when it, like, it just looks like glitter. As you can see, it just looks like my skin. It doesn't really show up very well. So, because it doesn't show up well, I decided not to keep it. And I decided to chuck it. You know, I bought it because I wanted that pink color. That pretty, pretty pink color to show. Especially for like in the summertime. But it doesn't show up. It just looks like glitters on my eyes. And barely their glitter. Not even like a lot of glitter. So, it just doesn't, it doesn't show up on my skin. And it doesn't shop at all on camera. So it's a bit of a waste. So I am going to chuck it in the bin. <laughs> oh, Alright everyone. So that is the end of this empty slash declutter video. I really wanted to do this video before New Year's. But you know. Things happened. And life happens. And it didn't happen. So I'm really excited to finally get this video up. And give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I did very little editing for this video you guys. <laughs> So this is a really simple video, but it did take a really long time for me to sit there and go through everything and it was kind of crazy how much stuff was going everywhere. Yes, but definitely give it a thumbs up if you liked it and let me know if you like declutter videos. I really like watching them, so <laughs> yes, they're always interesting and I feel so much better that I've gotten rid of so much junk that I've been holding on for way too long, so this is really over long overdue. <laughs> But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I'll see you next time. Ciao!